I would also like to call upon one more student of ours, as I am a faculty of IT also. We have with us a Gaurav here, final year BTEC student from IT. He would also like to share a few thoughts about his experiences at DTU being a person with disability. Hi everyone, my name is Gaurav Sharma and I am fourth year information technology student in Delhi Technological University. So my journey so far in DTU had been really amazing and wonderful thanks to the amazing friends I have, the wonderful professors I got and my family support. So I learned a lot here, gained many skills and made many wonderful connections. And since you guys are also going to start a new phase of your life, so it's going to be really amazing for you all because uh, there is a, a lot of difference between school life and college life. So rules are going to be a bit lax here, but the growth opportunities are here, you are going to get here are boundless. So here I would like to share two lessons which uh, would help you in becoming a better person in general, which I had learned over the course of four, last four years. The first lesson that I have learned is we need to learn to accept our flaws and imperfections to transcend them. This means we are all born imperfect and flawed individuals, right? So perfection, we cannot be 100% perfect because perfection means death. Perfection means no evolution towards betterment. So we need to accept our flaws and to learn to transcend them. That's how we become better and better in life. Second thing, lesson which I would like to share is we need to become go-getters and eventually aim to become, uh, you know, a value-creating member of the society. Right now, being student, we are consumers. We are consuming values. But as we grow up, we either create value by starting our own startup or getting a job or, you know, starting a business. So ultimately, we need to be assertive and go-getters to achieve whatever we want we need to become go-getters and reach, that, that's how we reach our goal. Thank you everyone, thank you very much.